Oh, we've been waiting all day for this one. The energy you can feel it here in the building, along with Carlin and Ray. I'm James. Welcome to EA Sports. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. Great night for hockey, and we are officially underway. Rams control it at the point. Glove save. Lowe's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still looking for our first goal. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. And a solid stop on the play there. He swallows that puck up as he slides across in the butterfly to make the save. Dallas gains control of the puck. Bednard's into the offensive zone now on the attack. And now he moves it quickly to Davis. Dallas has it against the half wall. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Dallas tries to break out from their own end. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. And now it's grabbed by Cracknell. He was locked in there. From the top of the offensive zone here. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Driving right to the front. Big save. Didn't get a really good look here, but he makes the save through the traffic. That's a tough save. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Takes the pass. Fires it on net. And he easily stops that one. Polino's lugging the puck. Sends it over to Kidd. Edmonton's got it along the wall. The Rangers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Looks to set up at the point now. Played big in the moment there. Oh, and they probably want to redo on that. Takes control of the puck. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Into the corner of the attacking area. Through center along the wing. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Kid's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Moves the puck. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. That's an easy one, James. That's a trip every time. The Oilers will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. The best power plays are the ones that are successful after they fail. They haven't been very good tonight, but you have to watch Yar, you be walking the block on that one, my lover! Edmonton's playing with a little confidence now here, Ray. Completely different team. The last couple of shifts, it seemed like the puck was starting to come for them. Now they're on the board, and they're going to be confident now. The Oilers take possession of the neutral zone, and he moves it up to Cracknell. And sends it just out of reach. Feeds the puck to Cookie. Looks to pass it to Bednar. Quick shot. That's not going to fool him. Puck scooped up by Polino. The Oilers looking against the half wall. Handles it along the blue line. Shuts him down. Lowe's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. 1-0 the score. Puck grab by Polino. Edmonton's playing it from the side. Cracknell's dangerous and he's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier on. Stays with it. And the puck's booted away. Sends the pass over. The Rangers have it from the corner. Bednard's got the puck and makes the routine save. He likes to use that screen as often as he can. If you can break away. goes on 
on here, James. I mean, that puck's on your stick. You've got to get rid of it right away. He does a terrific job game after game when he gets chances in here. Puck is dropped. Play resumes. Quick pass to Polino. And now he tries to get it across to Crackle. Smart defensive play to tap it away. Dallas plays it up ahead. Here's an odd man rush. Edmonton's looking to break out. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Takes a shot, and he was ready for that one. Lowe is going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Oh, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Edmonton's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Slides it to Davis. Getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Razor, you've had some time to digest that opening 20 minutes. How do you assess things? The Oilers would love to stretch out this two-goal lead. I mean, they're rewarded for an excellent first period. And you know the message from the coaches to the players is don't back off now. Jake Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The Oilers are currently sitting in the driver's seat leading 2-0. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. They'll be back on their heels. They lose the draw after they've iced the puck. They're a little tired. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Handles the pass at center. Shuts the door with a great save. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Cookie's taking it from his own end. Here's a chance in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Lowe is going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. The Oilers win the draw. Takes the feed from off the boards. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Lowe is going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. <laughs> Dallas wins the faceoff. The Rangers move the puck in the defensive zone. And that plays offside. We got a faceoff coming up. the winger as the two setters tie up and offside we'll get a reset here more than half the period left to play we've got a two nothing game here tonight 
Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. On the attack along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Cracknell. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Lowe's going to bounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. And now he moves it to Cookie. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. And that pass goes awry. Centering B takes the blast. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Centering B. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Stoppage and play offside the call. Hits won the draw. Tries to get it over to Bednard. Along the half wall with the puck. And he puts that one aside with ease. Into the butterfly, slides across to make the save. Scoops up the puck now. Gains the zone. Edmonton's got the puck. Nice speed at center, moves up ahead now. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Rangers have it now. Taken by Bednar. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Pitt. Moves the puck along the half wall. Steps inside the... All alone! Put that one on the highlight reel. Save and a huge opportunity. The Oilers take it from the side. Bednar's crossed the line and gained the zone. He scores! What a shot! What a pass! Great example of the ebb and flow of a game. I mean, you give up a chance at one end. If you can survive that, now right away you're on the offense as quickly as you can. They counterattack perfectly and survive the chance, score on theirs. The Oilers win possession here in the open ice. Through pass ahead. A chance in front, and that's stuff. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. That's blocked. Davis is hobbling around on the ice and not feeling right. He's got to get to the bench and try and get his breath here. Here in the late going of the frame, Dallas is still trailing by one as they step in for the draw. Edmonton's won the draw. Off his stick and stops that big bomb. Let's get the call. That penalty makes defending the lead a lot more difficult, but their penalty killers can be up to the task here. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. You never really know when the chance to tie a game will come, but now you've got a great opportunity on the power play. Into the corner now. Here's a back oh. down a man. Pitts ready for the draw on this man advantage. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he's able to handle that one. Here's a race for the loose puck. And he comes up with it. 
Sanchez got the puck against the boards. Poked away at center by Kidd. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they clear that puck. The Rangers certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play, giving up a shorthanded marker. Well, that doesn't go according to plan. The power scores! And look who it is! His first goal with his new EASHL team! The excitement that he displays when that puck goes into the net, you know how much this means. You will never forget your first goal. Guys, this is his first goal with this club here, and you know you never forget your first goal. I'm sure his teammates aren't going to forget it either. Dallas moves it ahead. Hammers the shot! Denies him with the save! Takes the feed after his goalie chooses not to cover up. Big save! Just as time runs out! There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports. We've got a third period just around the corner. Drop the puck here in period number three. Final frame is underway here. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? Dallas can't play the game with half of one foot into the battle. I mean, you got to jump right in. Right now, they're on the perimeter of the game. They turn the puck over. Even though they kind of have a chance, it can't be playing like they did the first two periods. from the left wing. Puts it on net. Makes the save. Cool and calm under pressure. Oh, talk about finishing your check. Wow. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Cutting to the slot. Oh, he scores! Aside from the velocity of the shot, James, I think the release is so quick, the goalie's not set, and he gets beat. The Oilers get themselves a big goal here to start this third. Really nice to get yourself a little bit more cushion. To stretch it out a little bit, you can see the finish line. Handles the puck. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Standing tall with the save. Dallas has the puck. Sends it over to Cracknell. He'll need more than that to beat him. And now he angles it across the pit. Moves it to the middle. Takes the shot. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Here he is, shot in front. And he gets in the lane to block that. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Cookie stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. Lowe's butterfly effect zone ability is when he makes himself big, covers the net, and still has that mobility well down to keep up and make the stop, guys. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Centering feed! Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Moves it to Bednar. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Up along the wing. Slides the puck over. Dallas will try to break out here shorthanded. 
Puck picked up by Bednard. From the open ice, they gain the line. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Dallas plays the puck along the boards. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. He's got a step and can't convert. Can't convert, James. He doesn't even get a shot. He might as well dump it in the corner and keep the forecheck going. Feeds the puck to Cookie. Dallas on the attack. Keeps hold of the puck. And now it's over to Cookie. And that's intercepted by Cracknell. Pass broken out. Gets the puck over to Cookie. Takes a shot. Sizzling shot and he makes the save. Dubé's going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes the safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Past the midway mark of the frame, Edmonton's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Here's a shot! Oh, and it makes the six scores! Picks up the loose change and puts it into the back of the net. Dallas doesn't necessarily have a lot of time left, but they got uh, a big goal. Yeah, but they, they got enough, James. I mean, now they're only down one. If they can press, you make the, the team with the lead nervous. Here's a short pass to Kidd. Passes the puck over to Cracknell. These are the best games to call. I mean, they never spread out. The two teams are so even, and now it's going to come down to a break here or there for the deciding goal. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Can't make the connection on the pass. Makes it look easy with the stop. Quick feed to Polino. And now he tries to get it across to Kidd. The Oilers take it along the wall. Can't connect on the pass. Pass across to Pitt. From the point, looks to make something happen. And that's blocked as he gets down low. And now it's grabbed by Cracknell. Picked up along the wall by Kidd. Sends it in front. And that's deflected off someone in front. Sends it in front. Can't connect the play. Now he takes it over the line. Fires it. Off the club and makes the save. Once he drops into that butterfly, he's pretty confident he's got most of the net covered. He slides across to make the save. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Poked away in the neutral zone by Kidd. Cracknell's got it in the defensive end. Sends it out in front. And that goes off a body in a ride. And he passes it up ahead to Pitt. They've got numbers here. And that's broken up. Sends it in front. Oh, what a chance. And that goes off target. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Here's the pass in front. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. Goes right to the crease. Oh, and he just gets a piece of a great extension on the play. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. And that's the hat trick Wilson in this place. And here come the hats. I love this tradition. Oh, boy, I will tell you. They collect the hats up. They used to give them to us. And you're like, what am I going to do? I'm not wearing somebody else's hat. Looks like lineups are set. They're ready to get things back underway. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck off the draw. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. There's the final horn sound and putting this one in the rest. Well, as they put a ball on this one, they call the puck the thunder. And they got it literally here. Well, man, they, they, they challenged these guys to a match. It didn't work out anyway the way they thought it was going to, and they take the L.